I'm asking you a question. I am not saying this statement. There I'm is, asking you a question. A Do you want my mother and my father to be deported? What I am saying is... A protester getting into a shouting match with a key Trump supporter today. As Donald Trump continues to reach out to African Americans and Hispanics, the pastor at the center of this storm is here. Welcome everyone. I'm Stuart Varney in for Neil Cavuto and this is Your World. Pastor Mark Burns confronted by a group of angry protesters outside Trump Tower in New York City today. One protester claiming to be an undocumented immigrant getting right into the pastor's face. Roll that tape. You support a racist. Can I, I get a yes or no answer? Do you support Donald Trump is not a racist. Yes. So you support a racist. No, okay. I, and so do you, all, you want I, my I family, I you want support, me and my family to get deported? I want support you get my, you want my mother and my little sister to be separated? Just because you are loud so do you want my and mother? just because you are talking louder than me don't make you right. Don't make but it proper. I'm not, to the I'm not asking, that, no, no, I'm no, no, asking no. a question. Yes, I am not saying a statement. I'm asking you a question. A do you want my mother and my father to be deported? What I am saying is, do you I'm want my little sister to be separated from my mother? But do you want my mother and my father to be deported? not a racist. But do you want my mother and my father to be deported? Do you want to continue to lie and wrong characteristics of a person? Do you want, do you answer the question? Answer the question. Answer the question! Pastor Burns standing his ground and he joins me now. Pastor, welcome to the program. Happy to be here, Stuart. He was right in your face. He knew who you were. Mm -hmm. Does this kind of thing happen a lot? Well, you know, I, I want to say it happens a lot, but people do know who I am uh, across sure. this country because I stand um, for righteousness. I stand for unity. And right now in this political climate, it's almost uh, uh, in, 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 in reference to the Democrats and the liberal, liberal Democratic Party, it's almost um, wrong to be proud to be an American. And you were on your way into the meeting with Mr. Trump and Hispanic and black leaders mm -hmm, in absolutely. Trump Tower. And he confronted you at that point. He did. He did. Now, Hillary Clinton... Uh, says that Donald Trump has ties to the KKK. I want you to listen to how Mr. Trump responded to that charge from sure. Hillary Clinton. Roll that tape. Going to accuse decent Americans who support this campaign, your campaign, of being racists, which we're not. It's the oldest play in the Democratic playbook. Did you hear something similar inside the meeting in Trump Tower today? Well, the meeting today was uh, it was a powerful meeting, first of all, to see so many uh, Hispanic and African-American leaders uh, coming together to uh, in, in a unified front um, to continue to echo uh, issues that are plaguing the minority communities, African-Americans and, 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 and huh? Hispanic communities. One is, is, is education, two is jobs. And the center of this meeting was to continue to be a sounding board Board to Mr. Trump, who was taking notes. Who how did was they very respond to it? How, how did the, the people at the meeting respond to Mr. Trump? Very positive. I mean, it was absolutely a unified front uh, to see these uh, young men and women, African Americans and Hispanics, uh, voicing their opinions and giving up uh, solutions for Mr. Trump to continue to echo unification within this country and to deal with our issues. He has been criticized for making that presentation, that message, to a largely white audience. If he were to make that same presentation to a largely black audience, do you think he would get a fair hearing or would he be shouted down? Well, I believe he would get a fair he hearing because the fact of the matter is, unlike what, what, what media will try to portray, Donald Trump has a lot of African-American supporters, more than the polls will ever show. There's, there how, are how do you know that? The people that I talk to on a daily basis, I wear my Donald Trump shirt everywhere I go, and you would be so surprised, uh, the supporters who are black and Hispanic and of different nationalities and ethnic groups saying, I'm supporting Donald Trump, because they understand that with the Democratic Party, they've been getting a bad deal. And like today, how Hillary Clinton is continuously using the race baiting uh, objective to divide and conquer, put blacks in one place, put Hispanics in one place, put uh, other ethnic groups in one place. And instead of bringing us together as the United States of America, they're consistently dividing and conquer us, getting us to focus on the color of our skins and not the color of the red, white, and the blue of America. Hillary Clinton says Donald Trump 
Trump is a racist. That's preposterous. That's, but that's what that young man said to you in that confrontation today in New York. Well, Your answer? I, well, my answer to him was, in order for us to have a real dialogue, we got to first have, begin a conversation based off of facts. Okay? The moment you open up your conversation uh, on erroneous information like Donald Trump is a racist, then our conversation has already died and is, it has no, no merit because you're not introducing the conversation based on facts. Pastor Mark Burns, thanks very much for joining us, sir. We appreciate here. it. Thank Always. You. All right.